To create a new contact, tap the plus button here above the contacts list. In here, I get all the fields available to add information to. So I'm going to add some basics for this entry, like his name, Matt Smith, the company he works for, phone number, and his email address. Tap Add Photo, and I could take a picture of Matt if he were here, or I can assign one to him that's already in my photo library. So I'm going to grab this photo, then use Pinch to Zoom to scale it for the photo area. Tap on a blue name next to a field to adjust it. I'm going to switch this one from mobile phone to iPhone, and from home email to work email. To remove a contact, tap the edit button in the upper right, swipe down to the bottom of the page, and delete. Contacts can also be added from apps. For that, I'm going to switch over to another iPhone. So we're in mail here, and in this email is all the contact information for Tiffany. Mail recognizes this and lets me know that there's contact info in this message that I could add as a new contact. So I just need to tap the Add button, and that brings all the contact information included in the email into the New Contact page. I just need to tap Done to add her as a new contact. I'm going to wait on that though because there's one other way to add a contact from an app. To do that, I'm going to move back into the Contacts app. And if I do a search for Tiffany, her name appears in a Found in Apps section. So Mail is communicating with Contacts that it has this new contact information. When I perform the search, it turns up. Tap and again I can see all the information for Tiffany. Swipe down to add her as a new contact. Choose Ignore Contact, and she's not going to appear in the contact search results anymore. Next, we'll look at how to add and edit contact information.